Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be testing out the last of the Benefit mascaras we have yet to try. The new Bad Gal Bang. This is the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. It is supposed to be a volumizing mascara. It's made in France. Benefit is out of San Francisco. This is a little 4 gram tube which you can buy for $17. They of course also make the full size, which is eight and a half grams that retails for $32. The same as the other mascaras. Personally, I bought my mascaras in this little set. It's the Benefit Mascara Mascara Rama. You can check my other reviews on the other two mascaras up in the corner. And I got this kit for around 30 Canadian dollars. I don't know, it was a pretty good deal. It's on now at Sephora if you check it out. Um, if you if you enjoy trying out new mascaras, I would say try out this kit. One of the interesting claims for this mascara is you're supposed to be able to wear it for 36 hours. Generally, I do 12 hour wear tests and I just can't see myself regularly. Like I can see myself wearing mascara for like maybe 24 hours if I wasn't gonna like sleep or if I was planning on just like napping. So yeah, let's just see how it does for 12 hours. It says you can get out of the world lashes with this gravity defined formula. It's got a brush which is called a slim packed brush designed to get from root to tip, corner and corner of both your upper and lower lashes. It's also supposed to be a smudge proof and water resistant. So uh, let's go ahead and throw it on and see how she does. One thing I did notice is the, was the wand is like super bendy. Can you see how bendy that is? It's flipping bendy. No mascara with mascara. My first thoughts, it's definitely a wet formula. I feel like with application, the more you go in and like play with it, the more chance you have of it coming together. And I think with one coat of mascara, your lashes end up looking really dark, really long. I wouldn't say they're particularly volumized. And I wouldn't say you get as good of control uh, with application as you do with roller lash but I do like the effect. I tend to prefer a more medium mascara than a wet or dry mascara, so this one might be a little wet for me, but we'll see how it goes. Sometimes when I apply mascara, I have a problem where I like blink heavily and uh, smudges my mascara. All right, there's the other eye, which I think went on a little bit clumpier, but it doesn't look too bad, and I bet some of you really like that kind of clumpy, heavy lash look. So it's all personal preference. I'm happy with application. I do like the brush. I like the packaging. Not too sure about the name, but uh, whatever. Now I'm gonna just hop over to Natural Light, let you take a look at what it looks like, and then we will try this out for the next 12 hours. Here we go. Hey, it's the end of the night and here is what my lashes are looking like. Uh, they still look very, very black. They still have a good amount of curl. They still have beautiful separation. And overall, again, I'm really impressed with this mascara, just like the roller lash. I think I like the roller lash better because it is that drier formula. And I think you get a slightly more separated effect but a slightly less voluminous effect. I also think the bad gal makes my lashes look really long, which I like. I do think the bad gal bang is a little bit harder to apply. Sometimes it smudges under my eye if I'm being a little careless in the morning. And sometimes, like I said during application, if you get in there too much, it might tend to clump up. So application on roller lash is a little bit better in my opinion. This stuff wore perfectly throughout the day. I took a nap after work, right before my second lash check-in. And uh, you can't tell, it looks 
it looks great. In terms of price point, I really love that you can buy a mini for a cheaper price. It's still not drugstore, but it's a lot better than paying $30 for a full tube of mascara, so I really appreciate that. I kind of feel like when this came out, I had heard a lot of not great things about it, so seeing such a great performance and experiencing it firsthand has really like made me appreciate this mascara. And I think that it's a great reminder that even if you do get a chance to test out a product at home, even if you've seen a lot of YouTube reviews or your friends have given you recommendations, um, it's still a completely different experience to try it out for yourself. And I love that there's a platform for me to be able to like document this and really pay attention to you know, how, how makeup performs and what's going on. So yeah, I like this a lot. I don't like it as much as the Roller Lash Mascara. I do like it better than their real. So overall, I'm gonna give this one a three and a half out of five with a strong recommendation that you check it out. And com to be completely honest, all of Benefit's mascaras that I've tried have really impressed me. And I've had a lot of fun trying out all three of these mascaras. And I never really thought of Benefit as making mascaras before. Let me know if you've tried Bad Gal Bang. If you have, leave a comment down below and let us know how it went for you. If not, let us know why didn't you try it. Of course, a huge hello and welcome to all of my new subscribers. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate all my old subscribers who continually help support, comment, share, like my videos. You guys mean so much to me. And of course, I also super appreciate all my Patreons who help me produce film, edit, bring this content to you guys. One of the focuses of my channel is to be really consumer driven on the side of consumers and crowdfunding is a great way that you can help support my channel and other channels like me. So anyway guys, I will see you all in my next beauty video. Thanks for watching and uh, yeah, bye.